I am Dr. N. Vasumati, Professor of Mathematics, Siddhartha Institute of Science and Technology. I am going to give a video lecture on linear differential equations. First of all, what is meant by a linear differential equation? A differential equation is said to be linear if it satisfies the two conditions, namely the dependent variable and its derivatives occur only in the first degree and the dependent variable y and its derivatives should not be multiplied together. For example, consider the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx plus 9y is equal to 0 is a linear differential equation because it satisfies the two above conditions. Now, consider the differential equation d cube y by dx cube plus dy by dx four to the power of 4 plus 6y equal to 3 is a nonlinear differential equation because the second term dy by dx four to the power of 4 is not of degree 1. Now coming to the third example, x square d square y by dx square plus y dy by dx is equal to x cube is nonlinear because in the second term, the dependent variable y and its derivative dy by dx are multiplying together. And finally, the differential equation dy by dx is equal to sine y is also a nonlinear differential equation because the right hand side function sine y is a nonlinear function. Now we discuss about the first order linear differential equations. A first order linear differential equation is an equation of the form dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x where p of x and q of x are functions of x only. To solve this equation, first we consider the simple equation namely dy by dx plus p of xy equal to 0. Now, this can be easily solved by using the method of separation of variables. That is writing dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to 0 as dy by dx is equal to minus p of x into y and integrating on both sides and by separating the variables, we get integral of dy by y is equal to minus integral of p of x dx. And finally, we will get the solution as y is equal to c into e power minus integral p of x dx or y into e power integral of p of x dx is equal to c. Now, d by dx of y into e power integral p of x dx can be written as by using the product rule of differentiation, we get dy by dx e power integral p of x dx plus y into d by dx of e power integral p of x dx, uh, that is y into p of x into e power integral of p of x dx, uh, which is equal to dy by dx plus p of x into y by taking the common factor as e power integral of p of x dx. Here, e power integral p of x dx is called the integrating factor. Now, coming to the general form of the linear differential equation, namely dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to qx and integrating on both sides by the integrating factor e power integral of p of x dx, we can write the left hand side as d by dx of y into e power integral p of x dx is equal to q of x into e power integral of p of x dx. Now integrating on both sides and knowing that integral of a differential of function is function itself and therefore we get y into e power integral of p of x dx is equal to integral of q of x into e power integral of p of x dx dx. Now here we have to find what is the integral of p of x dx and integral of q of x dx. Now we try to solve some differential equations. The first one is solve the differential equation dy by dx plus 2 by x into y is equal to x. Comparing this equation with the general form, we have p of x is equal to 2 by x and therefore the integrating factor is e power integral of p of x dx is equal to we get is equal to 
logarithm of a x square because exponential of a logarithm of function is equal to function that we know that and finally multiplying the given differential equation on both sides by integrating factor and expressing the left hand side as a perfect differential as d by dx of yx square is equal to x cube and integrating on both sides we will get the general solution as yx square is equal to integral of x cube dx we know that integral of x cube is x power 4 by 4 and therefore we get the solution as yx square is equal to x square by 4 plus c into x to the power of a minus 2. Here we observe that the general solution consists of two parts namely x square by 4 and c into x power minus 2. Now here x square by 4 is called the particular solution and c x power minus 2 is called the complementary function. The complementary function satisfies the differential equation dy by dx plus 2 by x into y equal to 0 and the particular solution satisfies the equation dy by dx plus 2 by x into y is equal to q of x. Now we solve the differential equation dy by dx minus 2xy is equal to 3x. Comparing this equation with the general form we get p of x is equal to minus 2x and q of x is equal to 3x. Now finding the integrating factor as e power integral of p of x dx is equal to e power minus integral of p of x dx is equal to e power minus x square multiplying the given differential equation on both sides by integrating factor we get e power minus x square of dy by dx minus 2xy is equal to e power minus x square into 3x. Now expressing the left hand side as a differential of the function y into e power minus x square that is d by dx of y into e power minus x square is equal to 3x into e power minus x square. Integrating on both sides, uh, we get the general solution as y into e power minus x square is equal to integral of 3x into e power minus x square dx. Uh, now, the right hand side can be solved by using the method of uh, you know, substitution, that is, by taking t is equal to x square, we will get the solution as y into e power minus x square is equal to minus 3 by 2 e power minus x square plus c or y is equal to minus 3 by 2 plus c into e power x square. Now we try to solve the differential equation namely x square dy by dx minus x cube plus xy equal to 0 which is not in the standard form. Rewriting this in the standard form as dy by dx plus 1 by x into y is equal to x. Comparing this with the general form, we have p of x is equal to 1 by x and q of x is equal to x. Now, the integrating factor is e power integral of p of x dx is equal to e power logarithm of modulus of x, which is equal to modulus of x. Now, multiplying the given equation by the integrating factor and rewriting the left hand side as a d by dx of some function we have d by dx of yx is equal to x square integrating on both sides and knowing that uh, integral of a differential of function is function itself, we get yx is equal to integral of x square dx and finally the solution is y is equal to x square by 3 plus c into x to the power of minus 1. We solve the another differential equation namely cos x dy by dx plus y sin x is equal to cos square x. Now rewriting in the standard form dy by dx plus y tan x is equal to cos x. Now here p of x is tan x and q of x is equal to cos x and integrating factor is e power logarithm of modulus of secant x which is equal to modulus of a secant x because the exponential of a logarithm of function is function and therefore multiplying both sides of the differential equation by the integrating factor, 
and expressing the left hand side as a perfect derivative we have d by dx of y into secant x is equal to 1 and hence integrating we get the solution as y is equal to x cos x plus so far we have considered the differential equations and their general solutions only they represent a whole family of curves if one point can be found which lies on the desired curve then a unique solution can be identified such a point is often given and its coordinates are referred to as the initial conditions the unique solution is called a particular solution now we we'll try to solve the differential equation given the initial conditions that is x dy by dx minus y is equal to x square given that x is equal to 1 when y equal to 0 rewriting the differential equation in the standard form we get dy by dx minus 1 by x into y is equal to x here p of x is a minus 1 by x and q of x is equal to x the integrating factor is e power integral of p of x dx is equal to e power minus logarithm of modulus of x which is equal to 1 by modulus of x now as usual multiplying the given differential equation by integrating factor and expressing the left hand side as a derivative of a perfect function that is uh, d by dx of y by x is equal to 1 or y by x is equal to integral 1 dx and hence the solution is y is equal to x square plus cx that is y equal to x square plus cx is the general solution now we try to find the value of c by using the initial conditions uh, that is substituting x is equal to 1 when y equal to 0 we get c is equal to minus 1 and hence the particular solution is y is equal to x square minus uh, x thank you